Beautiful parents out there, welcome to yet another episode of Abatanya right here at City Star TV. My name is Nanaya and I am your host as always. If you haven't subscribed yet, as I always keep reminding you, please do so. The subscribe button is right down there. Please hit it and follow us on all our social media handles on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram and Twitter. The name is City Star TV. On this episode, I'm going to talk about the parents, you know, the mothers and the fathers out there who have toddlers at home. I mean, it's hard enough being a parent, but then when our kids get to the toddler stage, where between the ages of one to five, you know, they, they become a whole different thing. It's, it's, it takes a lot of patience raising a toddler. Why is it so? You know, there are some times where your toddler, for no particular reason, I mean, you did nothing wrong. You are an awesome parent. For no fault of yours, they decide to throw a tantrum. My three-year-old would decide that it's time for him to lay on the floor, scream at the top of his voice, kick his feet in the air. And why is he doing this? Because I gave him exactly what he wanted me to give to him. Huh. And is it any fault of mine that I actually tried to please my baby? No, it is not. But for no particular reason, toddlers like to throw tantrums. Now, I'm about to tell you how to handle your toddler's tantrums, when they throw it at you, how do you handle it? There are a lot of things you get to do and there are a lot of things you get to not do. Now, we're going to start with what not to do. Now, number one, something you should definitely not do is not to intervene. Yes, you heard me right. Do not intervene. Do not. You don't want to go there. If your toddler is throwing a tantrum, you do not want to intervene because the only thing that's going to happen is your toddler is going to see that some sort of encouragement to keep on doing what they're doing. So as you intervene, the more you intervene, the more they're going to keep throwing that tantrum. The more they're going to scream louder, the more shouting, the more crying, the more kicking, the more everything they're doing already. So don't intervene. What else do you not do? Do not give them any toys or gadgets. Absolutely not. So he wants that toy, that's why he's showing the tantrum. No, that's just his recent excuse. She wants that doll. That's just her recent excuse. They would throw that tantrum with or without the doll or the toy or whatever it is that makes you think that is the reason why they are throwing the tantrum. That is just in their nature. They will throw it. Do not give them any toy or gadgets. Do not try to please them in any way. You don't do that. I, that doesn't make you a bad parent because in that moment, in that moment, when they are being loud, when they are being uh, aggressive, if you try to give them something, and let's say the toy is even a pointed thing, or you know, these toy trains, they can have some pointed edges, or these dolls, the legs can be pointed and all that. They can even in the fits, in their fits, they can hurt themselves with it. So you try your best as possible to not give them anything at all if you give them a mobile phone let's go gadgets you give them their tablets or mobile phone or their game out of that anger out of that um whatever thing that is going through their mind that we have no idea about they can throw it and ruin it they can just spoil it and now you have to take money and go buy a new thing you know the same thing you have to go buy a new one because they just ruined what you gave to them so at that moment no do not give them any gadgets or toys it will not be helpful and what else do you not do do not try to calm them down. Okay, you know, under normal circumstances, we, the rational human beings, sometimes when we are having tantrums of our own, we'll be like, calm down. And you and I both know that is a whole different thing because we are not about to calm down. Now, imagine your five-year-old, your four-year-old, your three-year-old, your two-year-old who's throwing a tantrum for no apparent reason. And you go trying to calm your baby down. No, you're about to burn your house down. Do not try to calm them. Let them wear themselves out. In fact, let them wear themselves out. Let them keep shouting and doing their own thing until they are ready to calm down or stop by themselves. Do not try to calm them down. And the fourth thing you absolutely do not do is try to feed them. Even if they say they are throwing the tantrums because they are hungry or they want a snack, do not feed them do you know why because at that moment where they are being so loud and kicky and shouting and all that 
if you try to feed them and they are still throwing a tantrum, which is something toddlers will do, they can actually choke on the food. So that will not even help them. That would actually worsen the situation. So do not feed them. Just wait for them to calm down. Wait for them to be done with whatever thing that they think they are doing. And then you can go ahead and do that. So what are the things that you can actually do? Hmm. Now you, even though you cannot calm your, your toddler, you need to calm yourself. Yeah, you need to calm down, take a seat and relax. I mean, enjoy the show. Just sit down and watch them through their tantrums and enjoy the show. Don't do anything, don't intervene. Sit down and relax. So one, what you have to do is to calm down. And then two, what you have to do as a parent is to be cautious. Because despite the fact that you're not going to intervene or try to calm them down, you need to also keep an eye on them. So if their tantrum is going away, that will hurt them. They are shouting and headed towards a place that they can actually fall and hurt themselves. They are kicking at things that can actually fall on them and hurt them then you need to be cautious and pay attention so you can take your baby away from that situation before they hurt themselves. Do you get it? Because that's why the fact that you don't want to intervene, you also want your baby to be safe. So that is point number two, what you can do when your baby is still in a tantrum. So you're calm and then you're being cautious. And then three, you can ignore them. And it's perfectly all right. It does not make you a bad parent to ignore them. Ignore their tantrums. You keep an eye on them, but ignore the sound. Just sit down and relax and watch them because more often than not, it's a cry for attention. And even if sometimes when they have your attention, they just cry for it more. We, you can never really please a, a toddler that is throwing a tantrum. So these are the things that you do. You wait it out. You stay calm. You stay cautious. You ignore their tantrums and your cries, and then you wait it out. Eventually, the monster redeem that is causing all that mayhem somehow calms down. The Kraken goes back inside where it, it was caged. And then all is well. So you are not a bad parent for not knowing how to calm your baby down or your, your toddler down when they are throwing a tantrum. We are all at the expense at that age. So that is what you do. That is how you handle your, your toddler throwing a tantrum. I hope you've learned something. Please don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles and subscribe to our platform. Thank you so much for sticking with us all the time. See you same time next week.